what's up everybody welcome back to another episode of funky steve's medinas so today we're going to take on another mission it's going to be another assassinate mission there's some uh hollow vid guy apparently popular in the federated sons that's uh, recording an episode of his show on this planet and i think we need to show him uh that being a near uh, Tortuga com control space is probably a bad idea especially when you, when you want to shoot your mouth off that you could uh, easily wreck any pirates that you come across so uh, we're going to go down and teach that guy a lesson but before we do that I want to check out so show you guys something here in the hiring hall so on a rare occasions you can find really cool mech pilots so in this case this guy relentless we're going to hire him here in a second so if you notice his base salary is zero per month right now he's 88,000 to buy, so he's twice, over twice of what you would pay for another pilot. But this guy is pretty cool. He's a nobility, um, uh, no, he's a noble supernumeracy, which means he was basically kicked out of his house because he's, there's no way he's going to inherit everything, right? But if you keep scrolling down, he's a noble diplomat, right? He keeps saying increased pilot maintenance and mood changes, but when you look at this, he's wealthy, which means he has no monthly maintenance cost at all. And this guy actually ends up being a technical school guy, which means he's going to give me improved mech repair times. So for eighty-eight thousand, I'm getting someone that doesn't cost me any money. He's going to gain experience in the in the uh, uh, experience base. Plus, he's going to give me improved uh, repair time, all for eighty-eight thousand. So it's a pretty good deal. We're going to hire this guy. We don't really have a lot of cash right now, but I can't pass this up. So we're going to take him. New mech and available. we're going to go get. We'll give him a uniform later. But uh, right now, we're going to go down and teach that guy a lesson on the planet's surface. Um, if you want to record yourself, uh, your Holovid show here in Call Out Pirates, well, this is what you're going to get. See you guys on the surface. All right, so we heard the big mouth is roaming around here somewhere. So we're going to have a look for him. Uh, looks like he's up on the hill up there. This is his escort. So I'm wondering what we should do here is maybe sneak around and try and get behind him. Or do we just blow through his escort? Ah, we're pirates. Let's blow through his escort. Let's use a hammer on this guy. So we're gonna reserve. Alright, Prodigy, you're up. Let's get up here on the hill. See what we're up against. What is this on my sensors? Four targets, nice. You know what's on your sensors, man? Sweet salvage. That's what it is. Oh, they're reserving. Let's reserve. Let's make them go. Phoenix Hawk. That's a nice chunk of material we'd be like, liking to get. They have a tendency to run a little hot, but we are in a cold weather situation, so... Probably not going to be that bad off. Alright, Possum, let's get up there. That guy didn't move very far. Let's put everything down range on this guy. Let's fire everything. Got it. Nope. That's alright. We still gotta close with these guys, so. Let's just hope that guy up on the hill's not a missile boat. So I didn't manage to get in a uh ECM suite into Rommel, into the flea. I was hoping to do that, but problem is, is I'd probably have to pull out the machine gun and a half ton of ammo and a small laser, and I'd be left with two flamers and a small laser. So at that point, there was like just no point in doing it. Wow, I didn't hit with anything. So I'm gonna wait till we get a couple of medium lasers, then pull out the flamers, put medium lasers in, and then uh, go ahead and put the ECM suite. So hopefully, hopefully we pick up some medium lasers. We'll see. Let's get in behind this hill here. Get in close for a sneak attack. So I'm working on getting uh, Ace Pilot for her. Hit and run is great. All right, now we'll be able to see what these guys are weight-wise. I know it's at least one medium. Their boss is probably the heavy. So we got, yeah, three lights of medium, and then this guy's probably a heavy back there. Okay, so that's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. It's good to go. Uh, let's try... This guy's got a large laser in this arm, if I'm not mistaken. He does. Medium and large. He's got full armor, too. 
So if we're going to attack him, we want to attack him mostly from the right side, or his right side, that is. Can we get to his right side here? Can up here. Lots of chevrons of evasion. We're going to move in. I want to see what those guys are, too. So it looks like a wasp and a commando. One C and a wasp. Okay, cool. So we're going to blast this guy from the side. So the Phoenix Hawk is one that I want to try and get as much salvage from as possible at the moment. But I want to just paste them and then that be it. But once again, I want to get rid of that large and medium laser on him. So I don't have to worry about him doing consistent damage to us. Okay, so this is an advanced wasp, looks like. He's got a pulse laser. One S. Yeah, medium pulse, couple small pluses. Does that mean he's got an XL engine? Endo steel and Pharaoh though. Okay, that would be nice to have for our for our fleet. We're gonna reserve. Urban mech. All right, and he's got his other side turned to us, so we can't hit that AC. So it's at the sixty RX. Huh. Okay, that guy barely even moved. Is that guy? He must be a light mech. You know what their leader is? Oh no, that was th is this guy that fired? He didn't just fire, did he? Couldn't have. What was that last one? Maybe it was him. Small laser? Really? I don't know. He's got an AC-10 anyway, so... Let's move up. Uh, I don't think I want to sprint. I want to have good chances to hit against these guys. So let's move, maybe we do. How much closer can I get to? Uh... Now it's better just to move. So let's move in. I read you, Commander. Moving out. Now do we want to pepper this guy or pepper this guy? A little better on chances to hit with the uh, medium lasers on this guy. So we're going to fire everything down range here. Alpha strike. Wow. I expected at least two hits out of that. We're going to batter that commando with the Jager mech. Ooh, nice shooting text, but I only got two chevrons of evasion, so... Should have expected that. I should have ran. Okay, let's reserve again. So I think that must be a heavy mech back there. So it must have been this guy pew-pewing. Unless they've got reinforcements that I can't see, which is unlikely. So let's get right up on this guy like that. Let's make him drop a load in his pants. We're going to shoot at this guy and this guy. We're going to shoot the auto cannon to B. Yeah, a little bit of chance to hit, so why not? Wow, that was terrible. Ah, uh, not making him drop any loads in any pants. No we can't hit. It's not even worth it. Ooh, I rhymed that. Did you see what I did there? Okay, so we're going to get in here. She's going to move first next turn anyway. So we're going to get in here. Who's got a better chance to hit here? 34, 25. Way better on the commando. We're going to fire everything on the commando. Not bad, a little bit of damage. We're going to dart out next turn. That's the wasp moving. Okay. See what he does here. Ooh. Didn't quite see that coming. But yeah, I can see that working. So let's do that. We should still have four chevrons of evasion. It's going to be four no matter where we go. And uh, let's unload on this guy since we have a better chance to hit. Alright, tit for tat. Did some pretty good damage. He's making a break for it? 
I don't even know what that guy's doing. Orders? I mean, I'm not complaining or anything, but... Uh, let's get... This guy into here. Let's get our evasion up. And then we're going to shoot this guy in the side again, trying to take work on that arm. Why am I hitting the other arm? And not this one. I guess because it was from the other direct fire. Wow. Well, at least he's tagged. Alright, Possum. We need to sprint this time, please. And let's get up here. Let's apply some damage to this guy, probably. If we multi-target. 30% on that guy, 22. So we're going to multi-target, give our ACs a bit better chance to hit. Where's that wasp? Or sorry, the uh, commando. Where are you, man? There you are. Alright, these are going to be... And that's fire. Line up and I'll shoot them down, commander. Oh, come on! you got to hit with at least one of those! Hit with both of these then. Man, we're doing so bad this kind this time. Here comes that Phoenix Hawk. Ooh. Can't keep taking those hits. Yeah, he heats up fast though. We're going to shoot him next time. Try and get him, keep him overheated. Commando's trying to run away. Okay, so as long as I... Urban Max stays out of the battle for now. Oh, so their, their leader is a medium, it looks like. Unless someone's reserved. Uh, let's come back... I'm going to sucker that guy to shoot me in the back. And we're going to multi-target again. What's the chance on this guy? 25% with the AC, 22 with the AC, 11. So we're going to go AB, fire the AC on the second guy. Okay, we got his torso, nice. So he's going to have to move first. Was that a pilot hit? Uh, well, I think it was just a torso damage that got his hit on him. Taking one wounds. Oh, we go first. How's that possible? Is he reserving? What's up, boss? I think we should just melee him. How bad is his back damage here? Oh, his CT's almost completely gone. Uh. Let's try and finish him up here. Yeah, there we go. Tango down. Well, let's hope we get the end of steel and stuff out of that. We really need it. Definitely going to need that for the uh, flea. Especially if we want to get that evasion system in there. And we definitely need the evasion system. Commander. Okay, so do we stick around and fight and try and overheat this guy? Like, what's his heat level at? He's just over... Uh, if we do that, he's probably bound to melee. Let's do this. Oh, he's a heavy mech back there. Nice! We need the salvage. Fire everything on this guy. Come on, hit with the flamers. Nope. Okay, there goes their commando. How far is he going to move, though? Kind of a weird positioning for that. Good to go. Brock Lanahan up there is not uh, moving at all. Um. No, I want him to fire on the Jager Max. So we're gonna move. Ooh, can't really even see that commando really well. can from here though. 37. 30. So let's move in like this. Pedal to the metal. Gonna do a multi-target again. Gonna fire on him with the, the mediums and this guy with the autocannons. And we're gonna fire. 
Really getting really bad chances to hit this time. Wow, only one hit too. Finally facing some real mech warriors. These guys have got full armor now. I think once the second mech goes down down here, it's just going to be mopping him up. So what's this guy doing? He's going to have to minimize what he's shooting at. Nope. It's going to stay in the heat. Oh. Hope that was like a... Yeah, he's getting really hot now. We're going to keep him that way. Got to see what I got hit with though. Hit with a medium laser. It's not good. Tarsal's taking some severe damage. Okay, we're going to do this. And we're going to multi-target again. We're going to go A, B. And we're going to fire. Engaging multiple targets. Okay, he's tagged. Exposed structure now. No damage detected. That's their main guy. Okay, he's slowly moving in now. Oh, we got another guy here too. Got somebody else coming in. So it's probably Brock's personal bodyguard. Um, let's deal with this guy. Gonna leave the machine gun off, fire everything else. The angle. Take a shot. Plus 10 heat. So we hit with one of the flamers. Okay. It's gonna help out. Damn. Nice shot, though. Okay, Prodigy. Let's see if we can wreck this commando. Gonna move into here. Firing on the backside. Okay, nice. Don't think he's gonna be able to move too many places that he's not gonna get a chance for a back shot. Either this turn or next turn. He's probably going to shoot on the flea here. Yeah, he's moving in for a back shot. No? Oh, okay. That works for me. I think the Jagger mech can get behind him. So I think I want to use the... Um, oh. Uh-oh. Is that a... It's another... What is that? That's either a heavy mech or that's one of the lights. What would have... That could be a uh, one of those mag shots. So, do we go after... I'm thinking this is what we do. Move forward, get our stability back, and we're going to fire on the side of this urban mech. I want to see if I can take that arm off. I don't like the idea of having that uh, AC-10 shooting at us. Okay, Phoenix Hawk super overheated. Oh, he's doing well shooting though. We're kind of half baiting him into shooting though. He's not going to survive many more turns shooting like that, that's for sure. Can we get behind this guy? cannot and shoot. Oh, he's in a good spot though. So we're going to do this. Going to multi-target. Going to shoot this guy and this guy. AC is going to B, everything else going to A. Okay, there goes the left torso. Doesn't I don't think he's got anything in the left torso. That's going to be a fully armored heavy mech. Yeah, the leader's a heavy mech. He's going to be fully armored. Okay, so... Yeah, this guy's not doing very well back here. Or on the front either. So let's make him think about what he needs to do. I want to get you... Probably... here. I copy. Chance to get stability back. Good chance to hit. We're going to fire everything in his backside. That might do it? No? 
Really, he's unstable though. Gotta force him to move. Okay. Prodigy. Can we get on this guy's arm? What's his arm got left? 50. We can't do 50 in damage with the melee attack. We can move forward though. Like so. And at least spot who his buddy is back here. Phalanx power armor. Mag shot. Okay, so I'm not too worried about that guy. Of course I say that now, but... Let's leave the medium laser off. We're going to fire all the SRMs. Okay, so that... I don't have to worry about him now. Well, I do if he wants to, like, headbutt. But that AC-10 is gone, so that's the big weapon. Yeah, here he goes. A little bit upset, I think. Sorry, buddy. Can't have that thing shooting at us. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing. I'm just tagged. The hell. Here comes a phalanx power armor. Not too worried about that. Uh, let's get Possum down here. We want to sprint it down, I think. She's still okay stability-wise. Let's get her into a point, like right here, let's say. Oof. Yeah, let's do that. Jaeger mech's got her back. So we're going to fire into the side of this guy. Uh, I'm going to leave the ACs off. We're going to fire all the medium lasers. We're going to try and work on that arm a bit more. Okay, a couple hits. It's this large laser I want to, want to remove here more than anything. Okay, he left his large laser off this time. Hey, knock it off. So he's got to shut down override again. Yeah, he's doing pretty well. We barely even touched that arm. Um, Steve, let's apply some damage to that arm, please. Um, we're going to multi-target again because that AC5... Sky Wall is 43% there. 50 up there, so we're not going to multi-target. We're just going to attack straight out. Just going to attack this guy. Fire everything. Okay, we did hit with the AC. Don't know where I hit, though. Got the torso. Okay, well, that's... It's a start. Oh! Is that an Ultra 5? Yep. It's a five anyway. Rifleman maybe? It's a heavy mech? Or a Jaeger mech maybe? Uh, yeah. It's something not very nice. So let's come down here. Going to use the SRMs on this command. I want him gone now. Uh, maybe we go this way instead? No, we really have to use the SRMs, I think. Wow, all of them missed. That's a miss. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for that. And I gotta buy another arm for the... F yeah, for the flea. Ah, oh, boy. Torso's still okay. Got a small and two flamers left. Um, let's not sprint it. We want to get some stability back. Let's try and apply the flamers to this guy. Didn't fire your large, but we're going to give you some more heat to worry about. He's kind of got a melee next turn, I think. Commando's going to get shots from the uh, Blackjack here in a second. Okay, so Possum. This is really bad because of the lack of movement here. But I really need to stay as stable as possible to shoot these two guys. Overheat, eh? So let's leave one medium laser off. Okay, two hits. Nice. We did penetrate. Okay, got the right arm. That's a critical hit. 
Okay, he's panicking now, too. Yeah, this guy's got a melee. Okay, thank you for the miss. Appreciate that. How much heat is he losing? Not enough. And he's shutting down. Good. I uh, wonder if we should just try and take his head off now. We can kill this commando next turn. I think his... What has this commando got left? Nothing. It's going to be headbutting. Uh, Jaeger, this guy's... Not the Jaeger, but the Urban Max got a little bit of time to get down. So... If we take the right torso out. Hmm... Got 56 in the head. What do I want to do? That guy can't do anything next turn, so it's not like I'm worried about him moving. So if I just step in here, open myself up as the next potential target, so I got lots of armor. If we multi target. Oh, still a better chance to hit with the AC5 on this guy, but we could kill this guy outright if we get a hit. So we're gonna... Nah, but we wanna... You know what? We wanna make sure we're hitting in the locations we wanna hit. So let's try for a headshot on this guy. We might get lucky. Okay, the torso's gone. Injured, unstable. We got two lights to go before him. Interesting. That's like three ACs. Or maybe they're heavy rifles. I don't know what that guy is. Commander. Um I'm gonna do this. Position confirmed. I'm gonna finish this guy up. Um, that should be enough, I think. Yeah. Enemy down. Now the assassin's gonna move up and find out what that guy is. I'm gonna start harassing him. Okay, we're gonna get Rommel down here into the gully. Uh, so she's hidden from the enemy. And we're going to apply some heat to this guy. Get our stability back a bit. Let's get some heat on him. Uh, let's go for this torso. Okay, three hits. Looks like it penetrated. Still stable, though. It's that Goss mag shot. So if we can take... He's got one wound on him. I don't know how many pilot... I think he said he had three. So let's move back here. We're going to push this guy. Uh, we're going to do an offensive push on him. Push him back one turn. We're going to go for the torso. We're going to fire everything. So there's the torso hit. So he's down to one. And there's the knockdown, so now he'll be unconscious. So we maximize the salvage on that guy. Excellent. That was better than I could have hoped for. Oh, it's a cataract. Eesh. Gotta find out what he has. That's a lot of rifles. Uh, AC-10, two AC-5s. Wow. Brock, you ain't messing around. No wonder you said you're a pilot, pirate killer. Alright, let's start moving on this guy because he is doing damage. 33 left in the left arm. Got to get up on him. He's got the he got the height advantage on us too. We're going to move up here. What's the chance to hit on this guy? Pretty darn low. 
So we are going to do an offensive push on him to push him back so we can go again before him next turn. We're going to go for a headshot. Might get lucky. Highly unlikely, but well, we hit with one thing, two things. Yeah, he's going to try and make a break for it too, I think. I should have thought of that before I shot at him. Okay. Prodigy. We need to get up here on this guy. It's either going to be going up this way. Uh, I think we're going to try and... Uh, Gonna move here. Let's see if we can do some real good damage to this guy. Um, let's fire everything. Okay, not bad. Uh huh. Uh, whatever you do, you gotta sprint. I don't know if we reason. Well, it's the right side we lost. So let's do this. We need we need everybody on on target here. We gotta be getting on to everything here. That cataract's gonna be hard to kill unless we get behind him. Commander, gotta go full speed. Gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go. So that's the. Uh, we gotta turn our left side. Our right side's already taken heavy damage here. 35. Wow. Uh, let's go this way. And we're going to pew pew him. Going to leave the ACs off. Uh, we're already in overheat mode. Leave the one medium laser off. Fire the rest. Okay, I got to get my heavy mech up there. Ilya Muramets? What the heck is this? Oh, it's one of those specialized ones. Okay. Let's see what this guy does. We're going to move in here. Keep our left side away from him. And we are going to unload everything on this guy. It's not going to be enough. He's just got too much firepower on him. Yeah, now I can come around behind him. Oh my god! Whoa! Easy on the armor, buddy! Yeah, no kidding, eh? Waiting for orders. Full speed. We gotta get behind this guy. It's the only way to do this. Uh let's leave off the medium. Gonna fire all the SRMs. Yeah, I'm starting to panic now. This is like, this guy is really tough. Stop making me unstable. Oh, great. Eventually this guy will go down, but... Stop! You're making me unstable! Good to go. Wow. A couple of good hits and we're in trouble. So, let's get on this Jager mech. Or the, uh... Got it. Okay, let's get our stability back. We're gonna multi-target. I'm gonna fire on this guy and this guy. I was going to try and push that guy back a turn, but I don't think it's a good idea. Uh, we're going to put the AC2s on B. And mediums on A. Let's see if we can kill A here. Actually, you know what? Yeah, let's go this route. Right, Commander. Nope. We're on the wrong side for that to happen. Okay, instability.
Okay, I don't think I can get behind him this turn. Oh, he's overheating now. Nice. Good, 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 good. Um, where is everything now? AC5 is in that arm. AC10 is in this torso. So we want to go after the right side, I think, more than anything. Alright, Steve. We got to sprint it. Let's get on this side. Gonna fire everything at this guy. It's not gonna be enough. There's just no way we can get enough damage on this guy. Watch my thing. <sighs> Internal structure damage. I saw that. Standing by. How much back armor does this guy have? Not a whole lot. So that's really where we want to be. Let's turn this way. And unload all the missiles on his backside. Okay, got the tag on him again, which is good. Structure's exposed. Oh, stop shooting for the head. I need more than a medic in a minute. That guy's gonna kill us. Ah. Uh, you just can't get in there. What's this guy's back like? Just the one torso's damaged. Still pretty good on that one. Ah, we gotta get onto this side of him. But not with you. I'm wondering if we make a break for it up here and try and get some heat on this guy. I think that's the best bet, is trying to shut this guy down now. Don't know what else to do. I don't want to bail. Waiting for orders. She's taking a lot of damage, man. Gotta sprint this. Uh, we need to attack this guy from this... Oh, we'll be turning my back. What's the back armor like? It's actually still pretty intact, so I think if I do that... Affirmative. They have a better chance to hit, but I got more protection, I think. Let's see the AC2's off. Oh, we still don't have enough. Turn this guy off. Fire three mediums in the side of this guy. Now take the leg? No? No? Damn it. Alright, let's see what he does. Okay. That didn't look good. He's got a shut her down override successful. Okay, so... Get my stability back. Everything on the back of this guy. Oh, he's completely unstable too. We got a chance for a knockdown now. Oh, he's not going anywhere. He's not going anywhere. Brock was shooting his mouth off. We gotta take care of that guy. Yeah, you need to bail. Let's get you out of here. Okay, Prodigy. Let's show this guy why you're a prodigy. On the move. Here comes the knockdown, everybody. Uh, 107 left in the CT. Let's just fire everything into his back. Oh, yeah! Bye bye. Hostile removed. Hey, we're getting outflanked. No, you're getting outflanked again. But at least you got good back armor. Okay, so we're going to reserve Rommel. You need to get the fire gun to dodge. So let's move back here. Sprinting. And let's shoot at this guy. Uh, wow, AC2s have a better chance to hit. Let's just fire this. Okay. Uh, Rommel, let's reserve. I don't know if I want to use her just yet. She seems to be severely damaged. Let's get me down here. And use everything on this guy. There's the right torso. 
I think all we have to do is blow on him to knock him over. So let's get Rommel down to do that. Let's get in here. Just gotta hit with one thing. There we go. That should be enough. Two things. Nice! One target left. Okay, we. I think we kind of came out of this okay. Was that actually any damage? I didn't see a number there. That certainly was. Commander. What's up, buddy? Don't turn your back when someone's got bonus SRM rounds. Oh, bad chance to hit, though. Hmm. Reporting critical hit. Yes, Commander. Aye, aye. Better chance to hit from the back, so we're just going to do it. There we go. Wow. One less target. There it is, folks. Shut up, Brock Lonahan. See you guys at the salvage screen. All right. Well, I know the guy. I kept calling the guy Brock Lonahan. I know his name was Brock Armstrong. But if you don't know who Brock Lonahan is, look it up. SCTV, one of the most awesome shows. Well, it was like, you know, 40 years ago. Uh, so, cataract parts, nice. Phoenix Hawk parts, nice. AC-10 double plus. One evasion pip ignored by this weapon. 16% to all range brackets. Recoil of three. Not bad. AC-5 plus, though. 16% to all range brackets. One evasion pip ignored. Recoil of one. What else do we have? Bonus cockpit range. 270 fusion core. That's kind of nice. What else do we have here? Nothing. We didn't get the Pharaoh or the uh, Endo Steel. I didn't think we would. We kind of blew up that guy. But Fusion Core, the cockpit is really, really nice. 50 base sight distance would be nice to have on my frontliner. Uh, but I'm going to hold off for that for now. Actually, you know what? Let's do that. Let's grab that one. And then I'm thinking the AC-10 and AC-5. This is worth 310,000. Although the mag shot would be nice too. That's one ton for 30 damage. Actually, this is pretty good. It's got 10 rounds. But this would be good on the flea, I think. You'd be putting a medium laser in. Maybe we take that. The AC-10, though, I don't know. Will we get use out of this? Not as much as we would out of the AC-5, I think. Ah, PASRM. Plus one accuracy, plus one Ignatian Ignore. Comes with 10 shots, so that doesn't really help. Tags. Eh. Yeah, let's keep the let's keep the AC-10. Let's see what we get out of this. All right, one, two, three cataract parts. One, two, three Phoenix Hawk parts and a Wasp part. Okay, cool. We got the AC-5 too. Nice. Medium laser, we needed that. Cool. Small laser, eh. Actually, we made out really well on this one, and we taught that Brock Linehan guy a lesson. See you back on the ship. All right, so we didn't make much cash off of that, but we did teach Brock Linehan a lesson. Now, once again, we got to manage our tasks a little better here. So we're going to bring the Jaeger mech forward. Uh, the flea in two days, we're going to refit this guy. I think they'll put an ECM in him. Um, now that we've got the Goss mag shot we can throw in and a medium laser, we'll drop those in there. Uh, was hoping for Ando Steel, but it didn't kind of happen. So unfortunately, you know, we can't do too much else with him right now. But yeah, so that's going to be it for today. Um, if you liked the video, please drop a like. And if you haven't subscribed, feel free to do so. Also check out my Rogue Tech series, Cold Forged, and my Battletech Flashpoint series, The 900. They're on my channel. And until next time, I'll see you all later.